Lots of important news from the Supreme Court today. First, in a historic move, the Supreme Court live-streamed hearings from constitution benches where critical questions of law are decided. Throughout the day, over 8 lakh citizens tuned into hearings, engaging with the Supreme Court like never before. They heard arguments in the challenge to economic reservations, the controversial Maharashtra political crisis, and the challenge to the All India Bar examination for lawyers. Chief Justice Lalit's bench completed hearings in the challenge to reservations for economically weaker sections and reserved judgment. This judgment will answer some critical questions on affirmative action through reservations in India. Can reservations be granted solely on the basis of economic criteria? Can states provide reservations in private educational institutions which do not receive government aid? Can scheduled caste, scheduled tribes and other backward classes be excluded from EWS reservations even if people belonging to these classes face severe economic disadvantage? This judgment may finally provide clarity on the purpose of reservations and how states must identify the people who need it most. The next big news comes from Justice Chandrachud's constitution bench, which was hearing the first day of arguments on whether the election commission can decide which faction of the Shiv Sena, Uddhav Thakre or Eknath Shinde's, is the real Shiv Sena. This real party would use the party symbol in the upcoming municipal elections in the state. The Shinde faction argued that the election commission should be allowed to make the decision, even though larger constitutional questions of defection are pending in court. They said that elections were just around the corner and delays would be anti-democratic. The Takri faction argued that the symbol issue is inextricably linked to the question of disqualification. After hearing both factions for over five hours, the bench decided not to delay or interfere with the election commission's proceedings. A third constitution bench led by Justice S.K. Call began to hear the challenge to Bar Council of India's All India Bar Examination. The bar exam is required for advocates who intend to practice in Indian courts. In 2016, a three-judge bench had held that the right to practice was not only a statutory right under the Act, but is also a fundamental right for LLB degree holders. An examination which grants licenses to advocates violated this right. Today, Attorney General K.K. Venugopal and Senior Advocate Mr. Vishwanathan appeared as amicus curiae, a friend of the court who offers information or expertise to the court. He argued that the Bar Council is duty-bound to take all steps to ensure that a high standard of education is maintained by law schools across the country. The Bar exam is one such step. Arguments will continue tomorrow. A fourth five-judge constitution bench was set up today. This bench, led by Justice Abdul Nazir, will assemble tomorrow to organize hearings in five cases. First, the validity of the 2016 demonetization policy. Second, on whether state officials can be restricted from exercising their freedom of speech. Third, on whether MLAs enjoy immunity from criminal prosecution against bribery. Fourth, whether a court has the power to proceed against other persons appearing to be guilty of an offence in criminal cases. And finally, whether inferences on the guilt of a public servant charged under the Prevention of Corruption Act can be drawn if there is no evidence of the alleged actions. 20 out of 29 sitting judges of the Supreme Court are now on constitution benches. This number is unprecedented in recent years and reflect Chief Justice Lalit's commitment to shifting the court's focus to constitutional matters from miscellaneous appeals. Watch the live stream of the Supreme Court hearings on our site at scobserver.in. Follow us on all the usual platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel.